world. Today me and Kane are out here in the Laurel County section of the Daniel Boone National Forest. We're headed out to a real, a real beautiful spot. It's another one of those Kentucky hidden treasures. There's no official trail to it, but there's a well-worn user path going out to it. Today we're going to be going up here and checking out Pine Island Double Falls. It's a beautiful double drop falls. It should have decent flow on it today. It's got a little bit of rain the last couple of days. Kane's back here getting wound up. As soon as we hit these four service roads, he knows we're in the woods. He knows we're here to hike. He starts getting excited, but we're going to keep driving out here. We're going to pass the roadside daylight twin arches here in just a minute. And from there, we're going to take a couple of different four service roads to get out to Pine Island. I'll share those here in the video. Yeah, so we're out here on the uh, unofficial trail path down to Pine Island Double Falls. It's a pretty well-worn path, but there's a few sections where little trails kind of crisscross. And it can be a little confusing, but just stay going that same direction and eventually you'll pick up on the path. There are a lot of ribbons people hang on little branches out here like yeah there's some pink ones back through there but try to mark the way that way but i mean it's pretty easy to follow out through here if you do any off trail like unofficial trail hiking it should be pretty simple for you but me and Kane are going to keep heading out here Hoping for some good flow on Pine Island. It's been a few months since I've been down here. Probably wasn't since back in probably the late summer. Last time we got a decent rain, I came out here. But we're gonna keep heading down here and check it out.
Yeah, the weather here in Kentucky can sometimes be a little bipolar. Go from hot to cold, cold to hot real quick. Right before Christmas, we got hit with that Arctic front. Got a nice freeze, decent little snow for Christmas. And then right after that, warmed up. It was back up in the 60s, close to the 70s, sunny. And now this morning, woke up. Temperature was right around freezing. Right now it's probably in the 40s, low 40s. But never know what you're going to wake up to in Kentucky. Yeah, so this little off-trail waterfall is a pretty good indicator of what flow at Pine Island should look like. Got pretty decent flow on it, so should be a pretty good day chasing waterfalls out here. So let's get back up here, go check out Pine Island Double Falls. So here we are down here at Pine Island Double Falls. It's got better flow than I kind of expected. It's a nice surprise, but beautiful spot right here. I love the color of the water. I like turquoise almost, green. Nice double falls. Beautiful spot. Thankfully we got it all to ourselves gotta say we do get pretty lucky because we hit some popular spots and we'll usually have them to ourselves one thing I'm really thankful and grateful for is to be able to get out and get to these places when nobody's there to have complete solitude out away from everything no cell phone service I know I'm on my phone taking this video, but, man, but yeah, we're going to go hike up around the falls back here, 
explore a little bit. Yeah, we've had a real good morning down here at Pine Island. Haven't seen a single person down here all day. 
let Kane get a second breakfast in. We tried playing a little bit of fetch, but couldn't find any good sticks. So there's some more waterfalls down in this area. I'm not sure where we're going next. Today is another day, like I had one destination in mind. But then after that, no real solid plan. Kind of see where the trail takes us again. Today it'll be seeing where the road takes us. And so we gotta hike back out of here, get back on the Forest Service Road. But we're gonna hang out here for another minute. Beautiful morning down here at Pine Island. We'll see where we go from here. Alright, so we just finished up our hike out to Pine Island Double Falls. Had really good flow today, a little bit better than I expected. It's a beautiful spot. Again, thankfully we had it all to ourselves. And now we're back in the car. We're gonna head out here and uh, check out a couple other waterfalls kind of nearby here. Just about a 10 minute drive from Pine Island. We're gonna go check out Big Dog Branch Falls and Solomon Falls. So we're out here at the pullout I used to go out to Big Dog Branch Falls and Solomon Falls. It's at a kind of a dead end here. There's a little roundabout right there. It's also a trash dump, unfortunately. But that tends to happen far too often out here in the Daniel Boone National Forest at the end of some of these forest service roads. People just come out and dump all their trash. You'll find TVs, couches, beds, anything. But we're gonna head out through here to go out to Big Dog Branch Falls and Solomon Falls. It's kind of a split right here at the back of the roundabout. There's a little road that goes up, up and to the right right there. That's not the way to go. You wanna take this one back here that kind of goes off to the left. You could drive on out through here if you had like a big four wheel drive setting up kind of high. The road's kind of rutted back through here pretty bad. Some deep mud holes. That's why I parked there and we just hike in from here. But we're gonna head out here. We're gonna pass a cemetery on the way in. I forget the name of the family, but we'll check it out. We'll be respectful of the graves. We'll check it out on our way down here to check out Big Dog Branch and Solomon Falls.
Yeah, we just checked out the McFadden Cemetery on our way down here to Big Dog Falls and Solomon Falls. It's a little bit of history here in Kentucky. John McFadden, that's where him and his family are buried. It's kind of sad, there's several children buried there that died at a pretty young age, but that tended to happen a lot back in the old days. And there's a few grave sites there that have some just stones sticking up out of the ground. But before they start engraving the headstones, that's how they used to do it. So I'd say those are some pretty old graves right there. Just a little bit of history here in Kentucky. Like I said, it's right here off the Shelltoe Trace. We're gonna keep following the Shelltoe Trace down here before we cut off trail to Solomon Falls and Big Dog Branch Falls. Alright, so here we are at the off trail of Solomon Falls. Really good flow on it right now. I know you can get the angle right with that sunshine. There's a little bit of a rainbow down at the base and the mist off of the falls. But beautiful flow. Nice spot. A little bit of work getting to this one. Got to fight through the rodos but well worth it.
so here we are at Big Dog Branch Falls, right along the Sheltoe Trace. The falls actually run over top of the Sheltoe Trace. Beautiful flow on this falls too. Got a nice little swimming hole down at the base of the falls. Beautiful spot. Water's up more than I kind of expected it to be out here, but it's always a pleasant surprise to get more flow than you wanted or than you expected. This is about ideal flow for all these falls. They're not like at peak epic level or they're just raging. But they got a nice, steady, peaceful flow. Been a great day out here chasing waterfalls. We're gonna hang out here for a little bit. There's a little island area back here. We're gonna be some island boys for a minute. But let Kane get some more food. Probably worked up an appetite since uh, Pine Island. We're gonna relax to the sights and sounds of Big Dog Branch Falls. So this will be our last stop of the day. Big Dog Branch Falls. Beautiful flow. I love getting up close to the waterfalls like this. Reach out, touch them. But from here we're gonna get back up on the Shell Toey Trace. I get back up to the road where we pulled off. Load up, head home, call it a day. We've had a great day out here chasing falling water. So me and Kane just finished up our hike down to the off trail of Solomon Falls and Big Dog Branch Falls. Hiked out to Shell Toey, out to both falls. Big Dog Branch is right along the Shell Toey. Just a little scramble down to the bottom of the falls is all that's required. Solomon Falls is a little more effort. You gotta fight through some rodos and wade the creek going up to it, but it's well worth the effort. It's been a great day out here chasing waterfalls. Started out in the 30s this morning. We were at Pine Island, it warmed up to the 40s. And then out here at Big Dog Branch and Solomon, it's warmed up to the 50s now. Still a great day out here chasing waterfalls. Didn't see a single soul all day. Couldn't ask for a better day out here. We're loaded up, we're headed home now. But as always, thanks for tagging along with me and the Cane Boy. Till next time.